When creating splits, you are now able to split an element by extrapolating the splitting surface in curvature when it is intersecting at least one of the edges of the element. Let's go ahead and show that. Let's go to Transform and select Split inside the Action Toolbar. You see right away we have a split definition. We're going to select a splitting element. In this model here, I have an extruded surface that I'm going to select. It's also going to ask me which direction do I want to split to. Next, under Extrapolation Type, if I select None and I select OK, notice how I get an update error. If I go down to Curvature and select that and select OK, notice how our extruded surface has now split the element. And if we kind of take a look underneath, our surface did not go all the way through. It only needed to be touching within the element area, as shown here.